Dennis Hayes, the Libertarian candidate on the ballot in Montana's Western Congressional District, says he decided to run for U.S. House because he felt neither party was serious about addressing what he describes as corruption in the federal government. The Republicans got maybe five to ten people that are fighting for the American people and the rest of them are in there for their back pockets and a, another page in their portfolio. It's easy to tell what Hayes sees as a symptom of corruption when you see him on the road. Hey, I like your sign. I like that. Hayes says he's been fighting with the Forest Service since 2015 because he wants to mine gold and silver on a claim north of Townsend, but he believes the agency is holding up his application. He says he considers himself conservative, he's concerned about illegal immigration, believes veterans aren't receiving enough support, and says the federal budget needs to be cut by at least half. Hayes is a native of Oklahoma and says he's now retired after previously working in construction. He says he didn't have any connection with the Libertarians before he ran for office. I wasn't even sure what the Libertarian Party was until I looked it up and found out that they're for the Constitution and small government. And it's like, that's right up my alley. Hayes is one of several candidates across the country who reported they were encouraged to run by a group called Patriots Run Project. He says a donor agreed to pay his filing fee because he didn't have the money himself. Several of the candidates Patriots Run recruited told the Associated Press they believed it had been an effort to draw votes away from Republicans. Hayes says he has no idea about whether that's the case, but he's firmly standing against what he calls an effort to push him out of the race. I'm dead serious about running. And if I had the hundreds of thousand dollars that the corruption has to put out on the uh, news and ads and everything else, I'd be doing that. But when you live on Social Security, you don't have the money to do that. So you have to do everything by word of mouth. Voters across Montana, including in the Western District, who've registered to receive absentee ballots, should be getting them in the mail in the coming days. In Townsend, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.